Before his heart transplant, Hussein Ulukan could barely walk. Now, the 60-year-old mechanic, who's originally from Turkey, says his health has been transformed. Before, very bad. By now, it's very nice. <coughs> Sorry. That's OK. You know, park, I park in outside. I'm working here. Nothing wrong. How would you describe how his, his health has been changed? I got my husband back home now. He's happy. He can walk. He can speak. He can sit down and watch telly with his happiness because he's thinking for his future now. As before, he was just waiting for the days and days to go. The team at Papworth say his progress just a few weeks after the transplant is remarkable. Well, his ability to, you know, to walk and exercise is already immeasurably better than it was three and a half, four weeks ago. Um, so his, his, his quality of, of life, I suspect, will just continue to improve and leaps and bounds from this point forward. In the pioneering transplant, the donor's heart was restarted just a few minutes after death. Using this equipment, surgeons supplied the heart and other vital organs with blood and nutrients. It allowed them to check the heart was in good working order. It was then placed in this machine and transported to Papworth. Again, the heart was kept beating and nourished. The ability to use non-beating hearts for transplant should significantly increase the number of organs available. This is fantastic news. This is great news. Great news for our patient. Great news for folk on the waiting list. Great news for the huge gap between people. The, the demand for heart transplantation, those that might do well with transplantation, and those that simply will never get it because of, of uh, a, a poor supply of donor hearts. Hussein Ulukan says he's immensely grateful to the donor's family and to the NHS for giving him a new heart and a new lease.